bring you the story of Christmas. Today, we bring you a good news story. Hello and good morning. I'm Ellie from the BCC Kids News and we have some breaking news coming straight to you right now. Here to tell us more on the matter is Alicia. Augustus has announced a decree that the census should be taken throughout all the empire. All must return to their hometowns for this census. However, Augustus has made it clear that people travelling down should not be in groups of more than six people. We'll have, we will have more information available on this matter later. But let's head back to the studio with Ellie. Am I on? Can you see me? Ah, there you are. Thanks for meeting me. Now, you need a story to share. There is something going on and I can feel it and we need to find it. Sure there's a story. Bethlehem is full of people coming to register. So many people, I can't believe they're all allowed to travel. But with this travel out to help out in 24 hours, it's okay. There has to be more to this story than just hordes of people, no parking spaces and government rules. Let's start in Bethlehem and ask everyone. We have to find more on this story. I'm in Bethlehem, a city south of Jerusalem, where many people are travelling to register. But I'm not here to tell you about crowd control. I'm here to tell you that we've got some exciting news happening in Bethlehem. We have had many reports from shepherds working in the fields about angels of the Lord appearing to them. Here is what one shepherd told us. I was watching over my sheep like I do every day. Then this angel appeared. I was watching over my sheep like I do every day. And this angel appeared. I was so scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. Today a saviour has been born, he is the Messiah, the Lord. I turned around to the other shepherds around me, who had seen it, and we all agreed to go see the baby. And we all agreed to go see the baby. That's where we're off to now, so I got to go. news and headlines. Pastor Mark wears a questionable shirt on the BCC live stream. Ellie and Jordan battle it out for the kids and youth in 60 second championship. And Kevin, worship director for BCC, really play the guitar or has he been faking this entire time? More to come on these stories but first here's Alicia with our biggest news story of the day. Thank you Ellie. Breaking news, we've had more information about a couple who are staying in the state home. It's been so busy. Here is what the innkeeper said. Sure, we saw the couple. They came asking for a room, but we didn't have because the room the rooms were full and also we have reduced stuff. But we couldn't say no because they were expecting a baby. Also they were a lovely couple. 
this evening in Bethlehem, I bring you good news. A baby has been born and his name is Jesus. He is the Messiah wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. A picture has been trending around the internet. A star shines over the place he was born. And gifts were brought to the child of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Just what every baby needs. Gifts ideas for a baby shower future mums. That's it for our good news story today. But it's not the end. Back to the studio. Ellie. If I am a king, my crown I will give to him. If I am a caroler, I'll sing to him the best hymns. If I am a shepherd, my best lamb I will bring. And if I am an angel, I'll give him my wings. If I'm a wise man, I'll give my wealth away. If I am a soldier, I'll die for him all the way. But I'm just a poor little boy with nothing much more to give but to offer my little hands and my little feet. To glorify the one in the manger that was born, the hope and light of this mixed up world. I give my heart to the one that was born to die and brings freedom to all mankind. I am just a little boy, but I'll do bigger things for him one day. To the one who calls me, Jesus Christ was born to let me free, and this is what Christmas means to me.